Hi Cancer, welcome to your singles reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Cancer, we're going to take a look at who may be coming towards you, your next uh, date, major relationship, however this applies to you. This is intended for singles looking for new love. Um, if you are in a relationship, well, obviously if you're in a relationship, you will be watching this, but if, um, you know, you're separated from somebody or you believe you have a connection with somebody but you're not together, I do have a love connection reading that I do every month for every sign. Feel free to watch that. Links are below to your playlist. So you can uh, check those out if you like to. I consider all my readings timeless. So let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. So I'm going to do here, Cancer, with this singles reading is I'm going to pull three cards, uh, one card from each oracle. And we're going to look at this person's energy, whatever energy they're in right now or have been in in the past. So we'll give like an overall energy of this incoming person. We have the life purpose there, so we could get uh, their life, um, mission, soul, spirit, purpose, energy. And then we have the romance angels. And we'll get their energy towards love. And then we'll clarify all that energy with the tarot. And then, once we clarify that energy, we'll look at how you would feel about each other. And then, blocks, challenges in the connection, possibly. And then, advice, guidance for the connection. And then, possible outcome. So, let's we'll see what we have here for you, Cancer. I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. It's general collective reading. And if you would like a private reading, all that information is down below in the description box. Tons of stuff down there, so feel free to check that out. Decks I'm using, social media, lots of stuff down there. All right, let's get one for Cancer, new love, incoming person, feeling that one. See what's going on with this new love, new incoming person for Cancer Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Show me what I need to see for Cancer Singles. Cancer Singles at this time. What is this person's love energy like for Cancer? How they think about love, feel about love, how they are in love. For Cancer, please. Thank you so much. Cancer Singles. Thank you. All right see what we have so we do have here grounding nature presence practicality and stability this does remind me a lot of earth energy we have six very healing balancing energy so this people uh this people <laughs> this person um may be you know like a nature nature conservatist or something like that uh very they may be very heavily involved in nature in some way shape or form very grounded stable energy very smart, practical, um, wise. I feel like they don't rush into anything. They make wise, balanced uh, choices and decisions. Um, they may be a little boring is the kind of the energy I'm getting. Like kind of like uh, a bookworm and, um, you know, like into politics and I don't know, all kind of stuff like that, that, you know, hey, if you're into that, but, uh, Someone very practical and cautious, maybe a little bit, um, that likes to be grounded, likes to be stable, likes to have a plan, likes to um, make wise choices. I don't think this is anybody that's going to rush um, into anything, I don't think here. All right, so let's see what their spirit soul energy could be like. So we have author. You have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make the time to write it. So they could definitely be a write for a living in some way, shape, or form. They could be a journalist. They could have a blog um, or something like that. So definitely here's someone who I feel like definitely loves to read, loves to write, and is involved in that in some way, shape, or form. They really like to express themselves through, they may even write poetry. Um, they could be very creative too, like have a really an eccentric mind when it comes to the writing uh, process and how they write also, like really different ideas also. They could also teach, also uh, teach writing or they could be an English teacher or something like that. But it does say author, so they do think they're an author in some way, shape or form. Again, like if it's a blog or um, journalism or something like that. 
We could even write for a newspaper, magazine, something. So let's see how they are in love. So we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So this could be this could be someone from your past. Or maybe they have a hard time getting over past relationships. And, you know, they try to reconcile, you know, re reconcile with past relationships. You know, like they really try hard. I feel like this is somebody, if it's not that, I feel like this is going to be somebody that's not going to give up easily on relationships. If there's a lot of disagreements or if there's fights or there's separations, this is someone that is going to come back over and over again to try to work this out until they know for sure that it's over, it's done, and it's not just going to work anymore. That's kind of the energy I'm getting. Or this could be... Um, Somebody from your past, maybe that you haven't seen for a very, very long time. Could have been like old childhood sweetheart, or a first love, or a second love, or something like that. Maybe somebody you forget about, just haven't seen in a very long time. But this is their new energy, this this is their energy, and this is new love. So I'm feeling, um, as in their energy, when it comes to love, they don't give up easily. They'll fight and fight and fight to work things out over and over and over until they know for a fact that it's just not going to work anymore. As with that grounding energy, uh, I feel like once they're in something, they're in it for the long term, no matter what it is, until they know for a fact that there's no going back. So I think there's someone who's very loyal and stable and trustworthy. All right, so let's get more information here. Cancer, for you, Cancer. Let's get more on this person's energy. For Cancer, please. More on this person's energy. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands. We have the Hangman and the Knight of Cups. So Three of Wands, you know, is about waiting for your ships to come in, you know, manifesting your future, you know, just waiting for it to happen. Hangman, you know, reflection, pause, new perspectives in the Knight of Cups. So this is moving forward, you know, with their cup of love, even move, either moving forward in love or moving forward in a very loving, peaceful, compassionate energy. So I feel like here, again, I feel like this is someone who, you know, the wands is very fiery, passionate energy, but the hangman is very, um, you know, takes a break and looks at every angle. And then we got moving forward here. So I feel like this person, again, you know, waits for the right time here. It gains perspective before they move forward. And I felt that energy. Somebody wise, practical, um, it doesn't just rush in. They like to have um, every perspective, a lot of knowledge. And they wait for the right time before they move forward. But I feel like somebody is very, like, calm and peaceful. You see the man just kind of sitting there man, woman, whatever here, just sitting here and, you know, very calm and peaceful. So I don't think it's anyone that's going to be, um, they may be very quiet, shy, someone who's not very, like, loud or boisterous or, or anything like that. Very calm. They may be, like, even, even tempered also, which, you know, some people don't like that because it's kind of boring. I'm not saying they're going to be boring, but... All right, so let's get a few more on this person's end. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody here who, before, you know, if they have new opportunities presented to them, they have to, Page of Swords here is about gaining clarity, learning new things, doing research, and then thinking and contemplating. So I feel like they just don't rush in. They think, they contemplate, they do their homework, they do their research and gain the, all the knowledge they need to make to make uh, a decision here, especially when it comes to new offers or something like that. So I definitely feel uh, that this person here. Wow. And even I feel that goes with offers going out too. So, you know, if you feel like you have a connection with this person, but it's taking them like a long time to offer something, it's just that they're very cautious and they're very... Um, I don't think guarded. It's just that, you know, they just want to make sure they're making the right choice, the right decision. And they see uh, the path clearly here. All right. So let's see how you will feel about this person. So far we have uh, 
Pisces, we have Scorpio, Pisces and Scorpio so far. All right, so, but they could be any sign, so see how you would feel. So the Page of Cups, so it's kind of like a young energy. I'm getting like, um, like the beginning stages of liking someone, having a crush and like wanting to offer them, you know, how you feel, but you're a little unsure kind of energy. That's kind of what I'm getting. Like not sure if you should, like, you know, is my offer going to be enough? Because it's kind of like a fish in the cup. So yeah, we have the moon here. So you could feel like um, maybe they don't reveal a lot about themselves. So maybe you feel like, you know, I'm not sure if I should, you know, offer my cup or say how I feel about this person because I'm not sure. They don't really reveal, you know, with the moon, you can't really see clearly. They don't reveal a lot. Uh, it could be, you know, disillusions, not being sure. It could also be deep feelings, but needing to listen to your intuition. But we have the two of pentacles here. So feeling a little imbalanced, like not sure what to do. Whoops. Yeah, see. <laughs> be feeling here, uh, not sure what to do about this person. But you do see uh, trying to balance here. So I feel like I feel like you will like them. I mean, it's not a king. It's a page. So it's like, oh, I kind of like this person, you know, but I, I'm just not sure. They, I, I can't read them. I'm getting like you can't read them with the moon. And they may be just very secretive or not really secret, just kind of quiet. They don't reveal a lot about themselves. So, you know, two pentacles, like, I don't know what to do here. So you could meet them uh, nighttime under the moon, near water, or something like that. All right, so so now we have um, Cancer and Pisces again. So let's see how they will feel about you, Cancer. Feel about you, Cancer. Well, they're going to feel like <laughs> you're their soulmate. Wow, two of cups. But see, we kind of have like the sun, almost looks like the sun there, though I think it's probably the moon, and then the moon over here, which would be the feminine and the masculine. So they're definitely going to feel something here with you, Two of Cups, like that energy of kind of like a soulmate energy. We have two, two. Oh my God, and the Ten of Cups, total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. But Five of Swords here um, kind of can be like uh, feeling like it's a losing battle, losing fight. Not sure whether or not to fight for this or not, or give up for some reason. So, so why is that five of swords here? Why would they feel that way? The lovers. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Gemini energy now. The lovers. Soulmate. Soulmate. Written all over this on their side. Maybe it's just going to scare them. And they may feel like, oh, this is too good to be true. You know, this can't really be happening. And that Five of Swords energy could be like maybe not really telling you how they feel, how strongly they feel. So kind of like backing out and giving up. Maybe they're going to feel like, because they are at the two, the ten, and the lovers, and you're just a page. So I think they're going to have really strong feelings for you, and you're going to be like, yeah, I kind of like you. So they may not reveal, re reveal to you like how strong, strongly they feel about you. Here with the... Uh, Five of Swords, they may think it's, you know, a losing battle here. But they definitely want to, uh, Knight of Pentacles, offer something here. This could be Taurus. But I feel like they're going to be slow about it. Again, they're going to be cautious, practical. But this Pentacles, I mean, they come, they stay, they don't leave. They're for the long term. They're practical, and I feel that energy here. They definitely could be an Earth sign, but they could be any sign so far. And the Page of Pentacles, oh my gosh. There's the offer and coming through with the offer. Though it may take a while, may take a while. Because they're going to be unsure if they should fight for it or not. Because I think they're going to feel like their feelings are a lot more stronger for you than they you're, you are for them. Because you're just like a page over here. And But you don't know how strongly they feel because they're hiding it with the moon energy. Which leaves you a little bit unsure about what to do here. I'm imbalanced. I feel like you're going to want to get to know them. You're going to want to get to know what's behind this moon energy. But there's a fish in the cup because you don't, it's not 
open, honest, pure, and true because they haven't really revealed here how much they like you and want to offer you. Wow. So let's see. That's kind of like the challenges and blockages there, but let's see what else we get here. The Fool. So there may be um, it's about a leap of faith, a new start. Stress, fear, worry, anxiety. So this is going to be fear, stress, wor worry, and anxiety. Queen of Wands energy now. Let's lay them all out. So we've got Aries now. Now we have the Empress. Libra and Taurus. Emperor or Empress. And the Two of Swords. So I feel like... It's going to be stress, fear, worry, anxiety over this new start. So there may be a pause to the new start here. Or unable to take this leap of faith. And unable to make a decision about this connection. But, I mean, there is a lot of value and worth in the birth of something new here with the Empress energy. Very fiery, passionate energy, go-getter kind of energy. So there may be a failure to see the worth, the value, the stability in this connection and how you can have this new start because of being unable to make a decision because of too much worry, stress, fear, anxiety and just going for it to take that leap of faith. So if we can get over these blockages, take this leap of faith, we do have the, <laughs> the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Lovers, wow, the Page of Cups. All right, so... What could be the possible outcome of this connection? Well, we got the Six of Cups, so you definitely could have had past lives with this person. Also, the Six of Cups can talk about someone from your past again. So this could be someone from your past that maybe you just haven't seen in a very long time that you, like, forgot about. You know, maybe it's someone you walked away from in the past or they walked away from you. And now all of a sudden they're returning out of nowhere and you're like, oh my god, I forgot all about this person. I mean, that very well could be. But we do have the Hierophant here, Taurus, which can speak of, you know, commitment, marriage kind of energy. But we do have the Five of Pentacles of being left out the cold, abandoned, lack. I have a feeling here, it feels like a very strong connection, but there may be a lack of clarity and decision making. Um, not unable to take this leap of faith. Somebody may walk away here leave the other out in the cold, but it's definitely it could have past lives with this person also, and someone could want to offer um, marriage or commitment. It could be they want to offer that like way too soon than you're ready for. So somebody may actually, you know, walk away and say no, and leave the other out in the cold. So let's see if we can clarify why we have the Eight of Cups here. I feel like you'll like like them but um, I, I don't know. It's more like, oh, yeah, I like you. And they're going to be like, oh, my God, you're my soulmate. I love you. And you're like, what? I, I just kind of like you. <laughs> so what is this Eight of Cups? So Three of Cups. So the Eight of Cups walking away, but then we have reuniting. So what is the Five of Pentacles about? What is the Five of Pentacles about? So we have the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy here. So fate, destiny, divine timing, things getting better, going in the right direction. So I feel like may walk away for a time, but then there's reuniting here. So this could come back together when the time is right, after we thought about it. Because this is divine timing here, fate, destiny, things going in the right direction. So let's get one more, the wheel. Two of wands being at a crossroads. One more. And the King of Swords. So here we have, you know, truth, clarity, um, cutting away things no longer serving. It's Gemini energy. Um, standing up, not backing down. I don't think this person is going to give up. I mean, they're going to be very, very clear here. Even if you left them out in the cold or maybe ghosted them for a little bit because maybe they wanted a commitment way too soon and you weren't ready. Um, I don't think they're going to give up. I think they're going to fight for this. I think, you know, this will come back together when the time is right and there'll be a uh, reunion here with the Three of Cups. As of with, I get con uh, reconciliation there, they're not someone who gives up easily um, at all. 
So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the King of Pentacles. So they are they are coming back. Again, strong, stable grounding and wanting to offer that pentacle. We got the page, the knight, the king. We have the ace up there, though that's their energy, but still a lot of um, pentacle energy here. So we have the nine of cups, which is a dreams coming true. Three of pentacles, deciding to work on this, manifesting a brand new beginning with the magician. This is um, Gemini and Virgo. And now we're sailing off to a better place together. Peace, harmony, balance, leaving all the past BS behind. That's what I kind of feel with that. So I think there'll be a return, maybe a little separation here. Because um, I feel like the energies won't be completely even at first. They may want, you know, they may want, like, want to marry you, like, after the first, like, three or four months. And you may, like, reject them and walk away. But then I see them coming back, you know, after they wait a while, coming back, fighting for this. And I do see reconciliation, again, offering again, but then... You know, happy, content, wishes coming true, working on it, manifesting this new beginning, and going off into a better place together. So that's kind of what I see, Cancer. Okay, Cancer, so uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.